and motherfucker go out the chair. Now, I don't want to eat nothing in the mess zone, but you know, when you hit the hallways, this is where you make your moves at, make your contacts at. So the nigga gonna tell me that I ain't going to, but he letting anybody else out. Hey, look, hey, hey, over some. Put them, don't look at me. Put them back in the cell, take off those pajamas, and put some pants on. I told the nigga straight down. I said, yo, if you don't let me out, I said, I guarantee you, when you open up this motherfucking gate, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. And I said, everything you heard about me, you about to experience and witness it and be a victim of the motherfucking shit and think I'm playing. We have a group of inmates who have a propensity for violence and they don't care about their fellow inmates, they don't care about a correctional officer. When correctional officers feel that you are getting, uh, getting out of hand, they will shoot you up with them drugs. And we must do everything in our system that we can to protect our people and protect other inmates, which is what we're doing. So what I did, I said, yo, this nigga think I'm playing. I put my belt on, took my shirt off, when that nigga opened that gate, I stepped straight out and knocked him straight the fuck out. Then I went at his car and bust him upside the head with a fire extinguisher. After that, I finished ragging them niggas. When the motherfucking squad came, they couldn't believe it. If you touch one of my officers, if you assault one of my officers, you're gonna get two sets of handcuffs. Uh, one to your waist, and then uh, one on your legs. The very first day I got there, police beat my ass. I'm talking about literally beat me to where a nigga was looking like the elephant man. The first and the only time I knocked out a CO. Nigga came and tried to head me up, whatever that, turn around and just drop it. Niggas beat me up for a week, dog. I've seen an incident where uh, um, a captain and two male officers was beating the hell out this one guy. Jerome Shipman is the captain in the corrections department one of the 11 current and former officers charged in four separate indictments in the Bronx. The allegations are that they assaulted inmates at Rikers Island and then faked documents to cover up the beatings. Every time a new shift came in, I'm in the box. They come in and I'm butt ass naked, speeding the niggas down. Next shift come in, just catch nigga. I tried to break it up, because the guy was handcuffed. I tried to break it up, and they told me to get the hell back in the door. These four incidents include two in which uh, the, plan, the beating was planned ahead of time, and then correction officers assigned to the New York City Department of Corrections meted out a beating that was planned. And they were saying, see, oh, you see him, though, you see him, though, you see him, right? And when they turn around and see me still standing there, that's when they took him away. And whatever happened after that, I don't know. Police would be so foul, knowing you a Puerto Rican, and throw you in the house with a bunch of black motherfuckers, knowing that the jail was on some racial shit. Say I came down in 1996 on a conspiracy charge. I landed in C-95, all right, 10 lower. The Bloods and the Latin Kings was at war. I done seen this dorm and one particular dorm, which is four men. Uh, about 15 inmates fighting each other. And then all of a sudden the whole dorm gets into it because it's the Latin Kings, and it's the Bloods, and then you got the Nietas, and then you got the Crips. Brian sometimes start because, because of the minor shit. Like, me and you could have had some beef from the street. You know what I'm saying? And we got it on the street. Now we in jail, so we are still popping. It just happened to be that you black and I'm Spanish. You know what I'm saying? Now you go to jail, you know what I'm saying, that you got your little dudes around, you see, in, in jail, a lot of racist, racist, niggas is racist, man, niggas be on some racial shit, you know what I'm saying, with each other, you know what I'm saying, dudes be like, oh, he, he a Moreno, you know what I'm saying, oh, we gonna stay with the Puerto Ricans, you know what I'm saying, Puerto Ricans stay Puerto Ricans, Moreno stay with Moreno, whites will stay with whites, Muslim with Muslim, God bodies with God bodies, bloods with bloods, Latin kings with Latin kings. You choose sides from the minute you walk through that door. You know what I mean? If you a black man and you and you got love for an Hispanic man and you come across a Hispanic man that's your man and you got love for his family and his people and then you sit back and you choose sides right then and there. So in other words, it was Hispanics against the blacks. Where I was at, Latin Kings dominated specific dorms. 75 to 80 inmates were in their normal recreation period and two or three of them began a fight. I have seen one inmate get sliced from his top of his forehead all the way around to over his, to his next ear almost. Dudes was literally dying and I'm not talking about one body, two bodies, I'm talking about damn near half a tears getting found stretched after the war was over. 
A uh, couple officers intervened, and both of those officers were hit overhead with a 50-pound weight. We had, a, we had a police chick. I'm gonna only use the first. The, the initial Miss G was holding shanks for the Latin Kings, okay? Holding them shits in the drawer. In the drawer, though. The search team never come in and search the motherfucking right. drawer. Officials say Officer Raymond Cotton allegedly warned inmates about prison searches and hid contraband in his office until the searches were finished. I know three officers that actually called a bunch of inmates to the gates and told them to line up and started giving out gym stars like nothing. Here, 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 like he was giving out candy. The motherfucking blood's rolling or some niggas rolling and start some beef with them niggas, that bitch hand them shits out yeah. like they pancakes. Yeah. Our probe team came in to end the melee and then more other more inmates got involved and it took a total of 35 officers to quell the melee. 